We're here at McCoy Park today dedicating a historical marker in memory of the Neck, which was a historically black community here in Independence from the early 1900s through the mid-1960s. I, I think it's very important that we acknowledge some of the mistakes that have happened at the past. This neighborhood was dismantled during urban renewal and the residents here were relocated. Their homes were taken from them and many of them could not find places to live within Independence or in the, even the Kansas City area. And it's really an honor to have some folks here who are uh, remain citizens and residents here in Independence who grew up in the Neck and have just incredible memories of that community and the neighborhood that raised them and formed who they are. This neighborhood was such a warm, loving neighborhood. I enjoyed being a part of the Neck. We was a big family. If we had something to eat, we put a big pot and everybody ate. Miss Molin's, you know, pies and donuts. And and Miss Annabelle and on and on and on I could go on. We now have a beautiful park here across from the Truman Library, but it's important to acknowledge the impact that that had on the families who called this area home. And I think it helps us to encourage continued conversations about how we want to uh, behave as a community and what our vision is for equality, diversity, inclusion in our community.